Do you find it hard to compare the size of fractions? It's important to do this because fractions won't always be the same size. Sometimes you'll have to order fractions by size. I'll show you how you can do this using your times tables. Here's an example. At a party, Miriam eats four sixths of a pizza, Maria eats three quarters, and Marcus eats three eighths of a pizza. We want to find out who ate the most and who ate the least. First, all the fractions need to have the same denominator, the bottom number, because otherwise it's too hard to compare. We can't just count who had the most slices, that's the top part of the fraction, or the numerator, because all the slices are different sizes. To make all the denominators the same, we need to find the lowest common multiple of all the denominators. Once they are the same, we can just count the number of slices to find out who ate the most. Now we need to use our times tables to help us. We need to find the smallest number we can that is a multiple of 6, 4 and 8. Let's have a look at our times tables. 24 is the smallest number that is in the 6, 4 and 8 times tables. So now we need to look at our fractions again and multiply the denominators to make them all equal to 24. Just one more step now. An important thing to remember with fractions is that we always do the same to the top as we do to the bottom. So I need to multiply the numerator by the same number that I multiplied the denominator by. Great! Now I can easily see that Maria ate the most pizza because 18 is the biggest number and Marcus ate the least. Now see if you can compare these fractions to solve this puzzle. Miriam is offered 5 twelfths of a cake, 3 ninths of a cake or 2 fifths of a cake. Which option would give her the most cake? If you need any extra help with maths or English, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch the videos as they come out, or visit our website at tutorsunited.org.